Hi everyone, I'm forecaster Nancy Kitchens here with Back to Weather, updating your video forecast on this Monday evening, a little after 8.30 Eastern Time. Line of severe thunderstorms or scattered thunderstorms across the eastern parts of the country ahead of a strong cold front. Numerous severe thunderstorm warnings in place. This is all associated with the same system that brought the severe, severe weather this weekend across portions of the southern plains. Center of low pressure has now made its way here in the northern Michigan. You can see this counterclockwise flow around the slow. Numerous severe thunderstorms across the east this evening. Looking at the current warnings here across um, Pennsylvania, I zoomed in here in the, uh, uh, from the National Weather Service office here in State College, Pennsylvania. Looking at the warnings in place, we have a tornado warning in place from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area, and just east of there, um, tornado warning in place as of this as of this video taping here at 8:30 Eastern Time, and um, numerous severe thunderstorm warnings in place as well. Um, associated with these thunderstorms. So continue to be on high alert across the eastern parts of the country this evening. We'll see the severe weather threat gradually begin to diminish or at least these storms will kind of lose their steam a little bit late, as we get later into the evening, but severe weather will continue to be a concern in these areas. Looking at the short range HRRR model, I'm going to go to the latest run here. I apologize for not having this loaded here, but going into here's the current map um, at 8 o'clock. The um, model's doing a pretty good job on the placement of these storms across central Pennsylvania and going farther through the evening here it is by 9 eastern time and 10 o'clock eastern time uh, 11 o'clock eastern time here you can see the progression of these storms pushing eastward and these storms gradually become uh, less severe here but um, we'll continue to watch the threat for severe thunderstorms as we head into the um, later evening hours as well so we are in the path of these storms tonight continue to be on high alert as we do have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings in place this evening now, looking at the uh, severe weather setup over the next few days, um, as far as the areas where we do need to watch for severe weather, the good news is if you're in the northeast and the northern parts of the country here, you're not going to see any severe weather the rest of this week. Uh, the pattern setting up, we have a blocking pattern and that's going to be in place here. And the northeast part of the country, boy, you guys aren't going to see any type of severe weather concern and for quite some time ahead. As a cool um, pattern, it's going to stay in place for you guys. This is going to keep the severe weather threat here um, in place across the southern plains. This is really where we're going to see that risk confined for the rest of your work week over the next few days. Going into Tuesday, here's the Storm Prediction Center outlook, a slight risk in place across a little area here from uh, northern Texas and the parts of the Panhandle here, um, even into parts of southwest Oklahoma for Tuesday. And the green here represents a marginal threat. And remember, a marginal risk means that storms should really stay below that severe weather criteria. Uh, severe weather criteria being winds of 58 miles per hour or greater and hail of one inch, one inch diameter or greater. Um, when you're under a marginal risk, that means storms should really stay below that criteria, which is good news. Um, so severe weather not going to be a huge you know, concern on Tuesday, but the concern is certainly there for portions of the Southern Plains for Tuesday. The main threat comes on Wednesday. Looking at the Storm Prediction Center outlook for Wednesday, you can see we even have an enhanced risk in place across portions of southern Oklahoma into northern Texas here. This is where the greatest likelihood is for severe thunderstorms on Wednesday and a slight risk in place for a pretty large area here from uh, central and southern Oklahoma, eastern half of Texas. All of Louisiana is included, uh, southwest Mississippi and parts of southwest Arkansas as well. The marginal threat here in the darker green shading goes all the way up from uh, surrounding a slight risk area all the way up into maybe parts of Denver, Colorado here. And this light green shading just represents the area where uh, general thunderstorms will be possible, general thunderstorms below severe limits. <clears throat> Going into Thursday, uh, the day four outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, if I can get that up here, hold on, and here it is. Uh, day four outlook for Thursday, a 15% outlook here, we have a 15% shading here across portions of southeast Texas here, parts of far southern Oklahoma, and parts of Louisiana. So you can really see where the severe weather threat will be confined for the rest of the week across the far southern uh, plains here in the parts of Texas and Louisiana. Really, those are the areas that are going to be under that um, highest threat for severe weather as we go forward here in the next few days. We have a blocking pattern in place right now. Looking at the weather pattern over the, over the upcoming week, uh, we have a blocking pattern in place right now. This is not the current map here. That's for May 1st. Let me get back here to where we are right now. This is a GFS American computer model here. And I wanted to loop this image here. Watch this as we go throughout the work week. We have strong ridging here across portions of western uh, Canada. Warming, pulling of warm air across parts of the Arctic. 
And when this happens is we have the um, the wind flow, the jet stream winds flowing around that and dipping down across eastern parts of the country, a trough remaining in place. This area of low pressure is just going to kind of spin around here and get, be, since it's blocked, just going to kind of stay stuck and spin around. We're going to see a continuation of cool temperatures spilling in across the northern and eastern parts of the country throughout the rest of the week. And this pattern looks to really kind of stay locked in place until we get to about maybe the middle part of next week. Looping the, um, this 500 millibar chart here, uh, the geopotential height anomalies from the GFS computer model. You can see the lower to normal height anomalies across the northeast parts of the country just kind of staying in place. Going all the way through the middle of next week, you can see that strong raging remaining in place across portions of western Canada. Now as we get into next week, it does look like we're going to see a ridge developing across the plain states. Some return of very mild temperatures here across the central parts of the country. If the GFS model does pan out by the middle of next week, and it looks like we might finally break this cool pattern across the east by the time we get into early parts of May. According to the GFS model, this is the map by Friday, May 1st. Here you can see we do finally see a return of more ridging, some warmer temperatures potentially making their way into parts of the northern parts of the country and even to, maybe even into the northeast as well. So we'll see here. But certainly for the next week and a half, really, it's going to stay quite cool across the eastern parts of the country. And over the next few days, we'll continue to watch the potential for severe thunderstorms across portions of the Southern Plains. Well, that is your latest video forecast. Hope you have a great rest of your Monday evening and have a great week ahead. And